Chelsea settle for a draw as they struggle to counter Burnley's pragmatism. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on today's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place earlier on today at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League between Chelsea and Burnley which ended in a 2-2 draw. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly I'll be giving you the lineup in which Maurizio Sarri filled it at the start of the game, then I'll be giving you my thoughts on the game itself and lastly I'll be giving you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture which will be played at Old Trafford against Manchester United this Sunday. So without further ado, let's get straight into this review. So getting straight into the lineup that Maurizio Sarri filled it at the start of today's game, and as always, starting off with the formation. It was a 4-3-3 with that deep line playmaker involved. How did you lot guess? But getting straight into the personnel in which he chose to start the game, he went with Kepa in goal, he went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Asloqueta at right back, a centre back pairing of Andres Christensen and David Luiz, and Emerson at left back. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho in that deep line playmaker role, with N'Golo Kante and Ruben Loftus cheek just ahead of him, and he went with a front three from right to left of Callum Hudson Odoi, Gonzalo Higuain, and Eden Hazard. So that was the lineup in which Maurizio Sarri fielded at the start of the game. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off with the first half. I thought that in the first half we were pretty good going forward, although defensively we were not so great. Not great at all to be honest. Let's get into the two Burnley goals, shall we? Starting off with Jeff Hendricks' goal, of course, because that was the first goal in the game. It did come from a corner. Um, I cannot remember who whipped it in. Please remind me down in the comment section below who who whipped it, who put that ball into the box. It was a good corner. I cannot remember what happened in the box either. Yes, I know my memory is terrible, but yes, the ball fell, fell to Jeff Hendrick, who's just outside the box, and he and he absolutely levered it. It went straight into the back of the net. Kepa almost got there, but he just couldn't get there in time. And you cannot really blame him for that because there were loads of bodies in front of him, and you can't really blame him for the fact that our players took too long to press Jeff Hendrick and get him off the ball. But yes, that's the first Burnley goal. The second Burnley goal was scored by Ashley Barnes. Some more terrible defending from us. I also do not understand how how bad our marking was for this goal um, because we, we had so many opportunities to clear the ball, but we just didn't, and the ball ended up falling to Ashley Barnes, who smashed it into the top of the net from close range. But those are the two Burnley goals. Just before the second goal for Burnley, um, we did get two quick goals. The first one was scored by Angolo Kante. I cannot remember who I cannot remember who gave the ball to Eden Hazard, but he absolutely sells the the, the um their right back short. Um he makes him look like a like a fool and he just passes the ball to Angolo Kante and he smashes it into the back of the net. Yes, it did take a deflection, but yes, take nothing away from the strike. And then our second goal was scored by Gonzalo Higuain. Says Asperquetta getting us getting an assist. And the Gonzalo Higuain finish was absolutely sexy. I do not understand how he managed to smash it into the into the bar from that from that close and from that tight angle. And I do not understand how he managed to put it into the bottom corner from there. But yes, brilliant strike. Um, first half overall, not the best, not the worst. I think we need to improve defensively. But getting into my thoughts on the second half now. I think that we struggled to break Burnley down and I think that that's a consequence of the fact that we did not take our chances and also a cons consequence of the fact that we were not great defensively in the first half. But yeah, um, overall, not the best, not the worst. <sighs> Just going to have to deal with it, I guess. But yeah, that's it for my thoughts on the game. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture, which will of course be played at Old Trafford this Sunday against Manchester United, with kickoff being at 4.30pm UK time. 
You should all know how much I cannot stand Manchester United, they are the team I hate most. I even hate them more than I hate Tottenham Hotspur, which tells you something. And not only do I want them to go up there and beat Manchester United for that reason, we haven't gone up to Old Trafford and beaten them um, since May 2013, which tells you that we have a dreadful record up there. So yes, that's exactly why I believe that we need to go up there and win. But yes, in terms of the actual match itself, I'm not confident because Manchester United are, Manchester United are a good side. Sorry for stuttering there. And like I just said, we have a dreadful record up there. And I still remember that 2-0 defeat to um, Manchester United. Um, a couple of seasons ago and that was a dreadful performance and the, another reason as to why I'm not confident for this game is because of the fact that we seem to create so many chances we seem to move the ball well our movement seems to be excellent but we just don't kill the game off I mean today we had so many chances to put the ball in the back of the net to be fair to Burnley they did play well but in the second half they were very they were very um, they were very solid defensively and we could not get past them so credit to Burnley, but we we have to look at ourselves and improve on our finishing because our finishing today was dreadful. And we also need to improve defensively because defensively we cannot play like that at Old Trafford because if we do and Manchester United get any, any sort of set piece, then we're in trouble. But yes, that's it for my thoughts on our upcoming fixture against Manchester United, which will be played at Old Trafford on Sunday. And that is the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your let me know what your thoughts on let me know what your thoughts on the game are down in the comment section below. I am sorry for stuttering. I'm tired, um, and I'll do my best to respond, of course. But yes, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues, and peace.